All right, what's good YouTube? It's uh, King Cole over here. Uh, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about why you can't lose weight. Reasons why your weight loss is taking so long. Uh, this is my first time doing, a, I guess, a vlog or how to. I don't know what this shit is. But uh, I'm just going to post uh, some tips. I've put down a list of things, uh, majority of reasons why people can lose weight. Things that are not medical reasons, but things that you can actually control. Some of it is not going to apply to you. Some of it will. Uh, here's just an overview of, you know, what you might need to brush up on. Or, you know, just get a, a picture of where you need to tighten things up. So uh, let's dive right into it. So I'm gonna start with some things that you should stop doing if you're if you already are doing. And the first thing is uh, insomnia, which means you want to sleep more. You should definitely sleep more because lack of sleep can mess up your whole day. It can make you lazy. It can make you not work out as hard as you uh, you should. Also. Also, during sleep, that's when you uh you get your uh, your growth hormones, which is the primary fat, uh, fat burning hormones. So you want to sleep. You want to get about seven or eight hours of sleep. That way, those good hormones can actually you know kick in and help you burn more fat. That's first thing. Second thing is um uh bloating. You want to get rid of bloating, and now, how do you get bloating? You get bloating from um, typically eating things that you're not used to eating, or excuse me, uh, eating too much uh, sodium in food. It's just about every food in America is high in sodium, so you want to watch the label and make sure you're not getting too much of those. Also, eating stuff like uh, nuts, mixed nuts. So here's the thing, right? I love mixed nuts and I eat them a lot. But every morning, I start to, on the days that I eat too much of it, I start to uh, notice I wake up bloated. I didn't exactly know why. And then one day I thought about it, I was like, man, is it possible? I know eating too much of anything is bad for you, but is it possible that maybe I might be eating too much uh, nuts, peanuts and mixed nuts, you know, that is making me bloated? So I googled it, and sure enough, it was, there were a lot of videos that says uh, eating too much uh, mixed nuts can actually make you bloated. And when I looked at all the bags of and cans and all the peanuts I've eaten in the last week alone, it was so much. Like I eat these things. The crazy thing is, once I open it up, if I don't portion my size, I just keep going eating, 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 eating. So. Um, yeah, you gotta cut that down because uh, that can create bloatness. You gotta eat, you know, one or uh, one or two of the recommended uh, servings. Uh, third thing is um, sugar. A lot of the times we eat too much sugar and we don't even realize it. Uh, orange juice, as I was just talking about this on my Instagram uh, IG stories. Orange juice has a lot of sugars, you know. Um, rice has sugars you know just about everything has sugars you want to cut that down uh fourth thing uh refined carbs so what are refined carbs just think about it this way easiest way to describe it is um if it's not god made or well, some of you don't believe in god if it's not natural then it's refined carbs if it looks like it was man-made if it was like factory made it's refined carbs you know because it, it's not to my opinion it's, it's not real carbs it's just processed carbs so you want to cut that down uh, because those things spike insulin level all right uh, the next thing is um that you wanna well here's for women uh, excuse me so here's for women right um, menstrual cycle when you're going through a menstrual cycle, you more than likely will not lose weight. 
if you are like you know within two weeks of it you're not gonna lose weight why because uh you're gonna have too much uh estrogen level your estrogen level is gonna go high so that's gonna uh, slow you down in your weight loss but that's not an excuse because i know a lot of fitness models women who are in like some serious shape some serious conditioning you know but those things do you know play a factor in why you can't lose man that was a fly why you can't lose weight so during those times you just gotta be you know you gotta chill out you, tr you gotta try not to stress too much because stress causes a rise in cortisol level now this is where uh applies to everybody you wanna try and be as stress free as possible why because of the cortisol level when you have cortisol level going high you're gonna have more fat that's just that's just it so the less stress you are the less uh cortisol level you will have the next thing is uh msg just about i, wa I was watching what the hell on netflix and here they said just about every food in america is loaded with msg especially chicken chicken of all food has the highest damn i never thought about chicken as having the highest msg of any food but apparently that's what it is uh i mean apparently uh chicken does have the highest so you want to uh, watch those and when you go to your uh to your grocery stores you want to look at the um uh, this is a fly you want to look at the, the the back of the package you gotta look, watch out for those sodium levels because sodium also causes bloatness when you're bloated your body your, your muscle definition isn't there you feel you just feel big and you know weight a little more than you might want to so msg you want to cut that down as much as possible also the next thing is um restaurant eating out I try not to eat out as much as possible. Here's why: because when they cook, you don't, you have no idea what they put in their food. They put so much shit in there to make it taste good. Usually, MSG, uh, sugars, those are two main things that they put in there that makes it uh, taste good the most. So they, they're gonna load it up. There is a reason why you love Chinese food. Well, I personally love Chinese food. The reason why I love it is because of all that sodium, all that MSG, and all that sugars and they put in that sweet and sour and all those, um, what is it, General Sour or General TSO, all those things are loaded with, with MSG and, and sugars in there. So you gotta watch out for um, getting out. Those things, a lot of the things that they put in the food are unhealthy for you. Next thing is, um constipation constipation so a lot of times people I know a lot of people that don't actually go to the bathroom as often they go to the bathroom like once a week that is not good for you you got a lot of backed up shit in your body you gotta get those things out of your system you know so you gotta try using the you gotta try use the bathroom uh, here are some things that you can do to use the bathroom you can drink coffee Coffee will make you go to the bathroom. You can drink it uh, faster, like first in the morning. If you don't like coffee, you can um, uh, eat an orange. When I eat an orange, I usually eat it with the, you know, the inside skin, not the outside skin, but the, with the, the, you know, those little things on the inside. I realize when I eat eat an orange with those, I actually go to the bathroom. So I don't know if that makes you go to the bathroom or if it's just the vitamin C and all the nutrients is in there whatever it is on the orange works or you can just go to the pharmacy and you know Walmart Rite Aid or uh, Walgreens and get some to make sure you go to the bathroom because if those things are backed up in your system in your system you're gonna be bloated and you're not gonna weigh as much as you you're gonna weigh more than you want to weigh that's just it the next one is um overtraining this is coming with guys uh, I've done it before sometimes, you know, I overtrain and I gotta, I gotta tell myself stop, you know. Uh, a lot of women that are into fitness tend to overtrain as well, but it's usually a guy thing. 
you gotta you gotta make sure you're not overtraining because when you're overtraining your body's just gonna stop responding it's like a car you can drive it so much over time if you don't stop if you don't run out of gas it's just gonna overheat and you're gonna have to stop like you don't want your body to get to that point where it forces you to stop you know you can get sick of that and you can actually reverse you can actually start gaining weight because cortisol level is gonna rise up so so uh, those are the things that uh some of the things that you want to stop doing or remove from your from your everyday life so here are some things that you can do to uh, speed up your weight loss uh the first one is um the food that you eat how many times how often do you eat you gotta eat at least in my opinion I think you should be eating at least three times a day. I eat about six times a day. I eat uh, five real meals and one protein shake. So, and that protein shake is just enough to make it an actual meal itself. So, I eat about six meals a day because I'm a fitness guy. So, I compete. I do uh, physique competitions. I, I gotta keep my muscles fed at all times but for the sake of weight loss and just you know general population you should try eating at least three times a day uh, when you eat you want to you want to eat about uh, seven uh, six ounces of uh, meat so six ounces of uh, chicken fish steak or whatever if you're a vegetarian I don't know. I you gonna have to get your protein from uh from beans, you know, the green beans, red beans, any kind of beans. What else can you get protein from? From mixed nuts, but you know you gotta remember mixed nuts make you bloated if you eat too much of them. Um, yeah, you wanna eat at least three meals a day. Uh, I have a six ounce of uh, meat and then each meal protein, you know, for your protein. I don't know about vegetarians, whatever y'all eat. Uh, you want to eat about seven uh, seven cups of veg uh, veggies a day, at least. You gotta eat your uh, you gotta eat your veggies. Your veggies is gonna be your main source of potassium. You know, most people have too low of a potassium level. Most people in the world actually have too low of a potassium. The thing is, um, those veggies is gonna help you flush out, you know, fats and all the other unnecessary stuff in your body, all the junk that you be eating. For example, I eat a lot of junk, so I need to, I need to eat uh, all those veggies. Also, another big reason, probably the biggest reason why a lot of people can't lose weight is because they have too much of an insulin. They have too high of an insulin level in their body. Potassium is gonna help you lower the insulin level. When you have too much of an insulin level, you can't lose weight. That's probably um, the biggest reason. Too high of an insulin level is gonna make you keep gaining weight. Um, so each of veggies gotta have healthy fats. Probably one of the best sources for healthy fat is avocados. I love avocados. I haven't met a single person in this world who doesn't like avocado. You can also eat nuts. Those uh, does have uh, healthy fat as well. You just gotta make sure you don't eat too much of it. You don't want to be like me who tends to eat a lot too much of them. You know, I like cashew nuts, almonds. I don't really like peanuts like that unless it's mixed with something, you know, like M&M's or some shit like that, you know, whatever it is. Just gotta be smart with it. Uh, someone like me should not be keeping uh, nuts around because uh, I tend to eat too much of them. I, I can never just eat one serving. I gotta eat like five servings. So I limit myself, you know, it's about controlling yourself. You, you just gotta know, man. Because a lot of times I say, okay, I'm just going to eat one serving. The next thing you know, I look at the bag. I'm halfway through the... Um, also, the reason why you want to eat healthy fats is because um, healthy fats doesn't spike insulin level. It's one of those neutral things. It's just, it's just you know, steady line. Uh, it also prevents you from starving up until your next meal. You know, that way your blood sugar doesn't crash. 
that's one of the benefits of eating fats, healthy fats. Uh, now here are some things that you can do to speed up your uh, weight loss. Potassium. You want to increase your potassium, you know, by eating at least seven cups of veggies or get you some uh, potassium pills, you know. Find a way to get those potassium in your body, trust me. I have my supplements that I use uh, for my potassium. Not only do I eat a lot of veggies, I have my potassium uh, supplements just in case. Uh, B vitamins. If you can find B vitamins, that's good. If not, fuck it. Just eat a lot of, you know, fruits. Don't eat too much. Uh, B, uh, the reason why you want B vitamins is because um, B vitamins also helps you with that insulin uh, resistance. You know, when you, when your when your body has too much, uh, too high of an insulin level, B, B vitamins helps you know bring it down. Uh, you want to get more. Again, you want to get more sleep. More sleep. Why? Because the group, uh, your group hormones primarily kicks in during sleep. Uh, growth hormone is the primary fat burning hormones. So, more sleep, seven to eight hours. Uh, working out, you gotta work out. Weightlifting, in my opinion, is the best thing you can do as far as fat burning. It's gonna help you build more muscles. The more muscles you have, the less fat, uh, the more fat, the more you will burn fat, the more fat you will burn. When you do your cardio, try doing a hit, you know, 30 seconds speed and 30 seconds rest. 30 seconds speed, 30 seconds rest. Or you can do faster cardio in the morning where you can do uh, a steady state. Some say hit is still the fat, is still the best way to burn fat in the morning on faster cardio. A lot of people not gonna do hit. I don't do hit. You know, I actually really do cardio. When I do though, I do a steady state faster in the morning. Yo, you gotta work out. I'm gonna make eventually. I'm gonna make a video of how to train your body, how to build more muscles, how to use work uh, weightlifting to burn fat, and how to use weightlifting to do cardio and whatever it is with weightlifting. One day I'm gonna make a video with that. But for now, just know you gotta work out. It's, it's just a given. Another reason why people are not, not losing weight is because you're eating too much snacks. Stop eating too much snacks. Every time you eat snacks, your insulin, insulin level rises. Insulin is the main reason why people can't lose weight. So you want to stop eating so much snacks. So don't eat any snacks two hours before bed. Also, when you do eat that last meal, make sure it's low in carbs. You know, you gotta have a little bit of carbs in them, but that's why you want the veggies. You want your main source of um, carbs to be from veggies at night because of all the fibers in it. Uh, don't eat an apple before bed. No. Yes, it is. Uh, it's, it is a healthy uh, thing, but it's still sugars in it. You know. You, you don't want that. You don't want anything that's gonna spike your insulin level. Sugars, typically, sugars actually, uh, they spike sugars or any kind of carbs spike your insulin level. Even protein spikes your insulin level, but not as much. Yeah, and healthy fat is neutral. It doesn't spike your insulin level at all. So you can eat an avocado, uh, you know, 30 minutes before bed, and you will be fine. So thank you for watching. Uh, I'm gonna make some more videos, you know, on weightlifting, my journey in this fitness, and as time goes on, I'm gonna figure out more shit to talk about. You know, in the meantime, please subscribe, like, share, whatever, invite your friends to uh, watch these videos, you know, it could help somebody out. Uh, give me ideas on what you want me to talk about, and uh, once again, thank you for watching. Peace out. Oh, follow me on Instagram as well. Follow me on Instagram at KingCola01. See ya later. If this is a vlog or whatever this shit is, this is my first time. And, um, uh, <laughs> I don't even know. Am I even looking in the camera? Yeah, I'm looking in the camera. I'm using my computer's camera because I can't figure out my, my, 
Uh, oh, the camera is gonna. I don't know what I'm saying. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna. Uh, shit. Uh, where do I start? Okay. Shit. Do vegetarians drink milk? I don't know. But uh, I guess I don't know if y'all drink milk, but there's protein in there as well. Um. Thinking about it now, what the fuck do vegetarians eat? Cause it's, I mean, I don't think y'all eat cheese. Man. I'm glad I'm not a vegetarian. I'm a vegetarian. I eat meat. Uh, so, um, the more sleep you get, no. You think uh, like I got some people that talk about the Halo Top ice cream, the the this healthy this the this healthy that yeah yeah yeah. They are less dangerous, but just because something is less, you know, unhealthy does not make it healthy. I'm not saying Halo Top is you know unhealthy. Actually, I don't even know. Actually, anything man-made typically isn't necessarily healthy you know as far as food wise because you don't know all the chemicals they put in there but the bottom line is 